Good morning, and welcome once again to the Underwood Baptist Church Day Devotional. Today is Friday, April 7, 2023. Today is what we know as Good Friday. Good Friday is a chance to remember and reflect on, on Christ's sacrifice for us. Uh, he died on the cross so that we could be forgiven for our sins and have eternal life. This is a, a day of sorrow, but it's also a day of rejoicing. We can rejoice in the knowledge that we have eternal life because of Christ's death and resurrection. With that being said, our scripture today is going to be in the book of John, chapter 19, verses 28 through 30. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there, and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a hyssop, and put it into his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up the spirit. This morning, I want to talk about a couple of statements Jesus said at the cross. And we read these statements in, in, in the verses we just read. The first being, I thirst. The verse says that he said this to fulfill the scriptures. And many revert to Psalms uh, chapter 22, verse 15, which says, My strength is dried up like a pot sheared, and my tongue clenched to my jaws. You have brought me to the dust of death. But this morning, I want us to ask ourselves a question. Do we thirst for God's word? When I hear this word thirst in this verse, the first thing that comes to mind, it's, it's that verse in, chap in Psalms chapter 42, verse 2, which says, my, my soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Do we truly thirst for God? Can we really read Psalms 42 2 and, and say, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God? He is the only one that could quench our thirst. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. John 37, 7 says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. If we as Christians don't thirst for Christ, we should examine our lives and, and ask ourselves, What is stopping us from seeking that spiritual growth? Or what is in our way? Or what are we putting before God? I know sometimes we might sound like a broken record, but we must truly put God first over everything. The next statement I want to address is, is in verse 30 uh, of John chapter 19 uh, that said that Christ said, it is finished. And, and this uh, let us know that Jesus had fulfilled his purpose of coming to this earth to give his life for you and I. He's done it all. This morning, if, if, if any of you that are not saved, um, I pray that this morning that today could be the day that you come to repent and accept Jesus as your, as your personal savior. He's paid the price. He shed his blood on the cross for you and I. Are you going to accept that gift of salvation that Jesus is offering you? I pray that if anyone listening that hasn't received Jesus as their personal Savior, that today can be the day of salvation. Don't put it off anymore. Tomorrow is not promised today. Don't, don't say, I, well, I'm too young right now to accept Jesus. I got to live my life. Or I'm not ready. Um, I encourage you to examine your life also. If you're, if you're a Christian, if you accepted Jesus Christ in your heart, examine, examine your life and, and, and ask your ask that question. Do I thirst for God? 
Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this lovely morning you've given us, Lord. Thank you, Father, for sending your Son, Jesus, Lord, to die on the cross for our sins, Lord. Lord, I'm so thankful, Father, that you that you loved a, a wretched sinner like myself, Father, to send your, send your Son to die on the cross for my sins, Father. I pray, Lord, that if anyone, Lord, does not know you as their personal Savior, Father, that today, Lord, may be that day of salvation, Lord. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great day and God bless you.